for this question, the outermost function is a power of 4, right? So we're going to start off by taking the derivative of something to the power of 4. And when we come to the inside part, it's going to be a quotient rule. And it'll be pretty easy. We just have to remember that the derivative cosine uh, here is, we have to use a chain rule on that, right? Because we don't just have cos x here, we have cos 2x. So we have to be a little bit careful when we come to that part. But the first part is easy. The outermost function is power 4. It'll come to the front. That'll stay the same. It'll be power 3. And then we multiply by the derivative of what we ignored. So let's fill that in. Now, one thing is, notice how I go, I'm going pretty slow here by writing this step here. It'd be perfectly fine if you just started the derivative right away and not not even bother writing with this, this prime. Just write this and then right away go to the derivative of that. But I'm just, since we're learning this chain rule, this is our chain rule section, I just wanted to go slow and make sure it's uh, all clear. And let's see what happens now when we come to the derivative of this. I think we'll need a long fraction line here. So the derivative of the top, what's, this is quotient rule, right? So I have to start with the derivative of this. Uh, the derivative of this is zero, so I won't bother writing that. This minus comes out front. And now I have to do the derivative of cos 2x. We know the derivative of cosine is a minus sine, so it's going to be minus sine 2x. But then right after, I have to multiply by the derivative of 2x, which is 2. So that's that, times this left alone, minus, now I'm going to leave this top part alone. And now I come to the derivative of this function. The, the denominator. The derivative of 1 is 0. I won't bother writing that. And the derivative of cos 2x, we actually just did that. It's minus sine 2x and then times 2. I'll just go like that. And the denominator here is easy. It's 1 plus cos 2x squared. And I'm going to stop there. We could try to simplify that. It would Notice that we have 1 plus cos 2x cubed on the bottom and 1 plus cos 2x squared. We could write this all over 1 plus cos 2x to the power of 5, therefore. And we could work this out here, but I don't think it's worth our time. Uh, the main thing, I just wanted to get the chain rule done, and we have that. So this is the derivative.